This video is brought to you by MyNiceTie.com Because with a coat and tie, anyone becomes civilized. At MyNiceTie, different is great. With our risk-free guarantee, 20% of your purchase going to charity and free shipping in the U.S., there's not a better place to buy a tie. Alright, let's get teaching you this trick. So basically, the first step is to just take your necktie, like regular, and kind of estimate how long you want it. So put your thumb in it like that, and just hang the necktie down. I like it just a little bit above my belt buckle. So you got your necktie and your thumb like this. I want you to just lay it with the long end going away from the hand you were just holding the necktie with. Then you take this end of the necktie with your opposite hand, the one that wasn't holding the tie, and you flip it under and create a loop, like so. Pretty simple. Let me give you a better look at this. Then, you take the other end and you create a loop the opposite way. So you're going to have two loops, both going the opposite way. Then, you take the hand that was holding your necktie, remember? You turn it upside down and put your two fingers through the hole and grab it and then twist your arm goes upside down the other way. So it was upside down that way. Twist it so it's upside down. You got this top hole and the bottom hole. You just stick your two fingers that you were holding this bottom hole with up through the top hole like so. And then you take this end Put it between your two fingers and then slide it through. Pick about the good length, I don't know, somewhere close to the bottom of the tie. Then grab both of them right here. And the difficult part is to get the knot to look right in the end, so you just kind of twist it, pull it. You'll feel it tighten up. At that point, what I do is I just loosen up this part and I throw it over my neck and kind of shape it. The trick to get having a good looking knot is just as as you're pulling it tighter you're shaping it like a necktie. And so you're pulling a little bit on both ends and just pull the fat end down pull these edges out you can see that a dimple just kind of formed on its own as I was pulling the necktie down. If it doesn't, if you want a dimple and it doesn't form, as you're tying it, you just kind of stick your finger right there and just kind of pinch it and pull it tight like that. There's nothing more to a dimple than that. Sometimes the back of the necktie gets a little bit folded and weird looking. It doesn't really matter because the front of the necktie can still look great even though the back looks a bit weird. But you just kind of shape it into the shape of a triangle. Just kind of mold it. And it's that simple. For a special discount Use the promo code YouTube at checkout at MyNiceTie.com and please take a second to tell us what you thought of the video by sharing comments and rating it on YouTube. Check out our other videos. The best video online to learn to tie a double Windsor knot and find out how a zipper tie can make tying a tie even easier.